Let's do an amp and sub and a Camaro. Now well, we're just gonna throw this down here, put an amp on there, and uh, throw the panel back on. Done. Just kidding. So we made ourselves an amp mount here. We uh, machined this out of a solid block of gold. We're gonna mount it to these factory studs here with diamond nuts. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's expanded PVC and regular M6 nuts. So our Rockford Fosgate 1500 watt amp will get mounted to that. And then also our, our audio control LC2i will get mounted to it as well. And that will allow us to extract signal from the factory Bose amp. Here we're gonna go ahead and plug our connectors in. Uh, we went ahead and made our little harness in advance. Let's see if these RCAs reach. Probably not. Hey, look at that. Got lucky. We're just going to kind of plan out our wire run here before we make anything permanent. We'll go ahead and connect our speaker wire that's going to go to our sub enclosure. And here's our battery in the passenger side quarter panel of the trunk. So our power wire will be running to that. We're just gonna scope out a good location to mount our fuse holder. Somewhere where it'll be secure, but serviceable. Probably mount it to a, make a bracket and mount it to a factory stud. So what we're doing here is we're laying the power wire in there to figure out how long it needs to be before we cut it to length and terminate the ends. And then we'll go ahead and connect it to the amp. So you can see we have everything connected to our components, but just laid in there. So next we'll go and route all of our wires, tie everything up, wire ties, etc. So now we're going ahead and interfacing with our OEM Bose amplifier in the vehicle to get signal to go into our audio control LC2i, which will then send low level signal to our amplifier that we're adding. LC2i is an active line out converter, so there's no signal loss with that like there would be with a kind of an old school transformer based line out converter. An active LFC is a little bit more money, but you're going to get cleaner sound. Um, and it has some other features like AccuBase, which allows you to counteract some of the bass roll off that can be uh, there in, in an OEM amplified setup like this one. So we got our fuse bracket made. We're going to go ahead and get that mounted and get our power wire connected to the battery. Fuse, fuse holder. Bracket. 
fuse holder cover so your fuse doesn't get away. So what we, went, what we ended up doing was making this bracket so that it mounts to the, um, the side battery hold down bolt. So nice and tucked in there, but like I mentioned before, still serviceable, secure. So that's all mounted. Now we're just gonna go ahead and connect our power wire to the battery and then that's all done. And get the factory battery cover back on. That's all wrapped up and there's, a, there's the finished product. The wiring's all done. You can see the ground there. Everything ran, secure, ready to go. So we'll get this, get our tools cleaned out of there and start getting the trunk back together. So there it is finished. Uh, we just did a prefab enclosure for now on this vehicle. Uh, the vehicle will be back at a later point in time to get a custom box with two subs. Um, honestly, that's why we did such a big amp, just so it's ready for the, for the future on that. So that's it. So if you made it this far, thank you. You're awesome. Uh, give us a like, follow us. We're on all forms of social media. Um, leave us a comment. Uh, let us know what other kinds of uh, content like this you'd like to see, what, what kinds of installs, what kind of products you would like to learn more about, and uh, we'll make it happen. So this is Dan from Columbus Car Audio, signing off. Thanks. Thanks.